what is up brown girl tribe happy thursday or whatever day that you're watching this video so i have a challenge for everyone and the challenge is to really master your emotions and also study yourself each level each year each moment hopefully we're growing right and every time that we grow and we evolve we may have different trigger points that evolve with us especially if we haven't mastered you know what trigger us um, we need to master our emotions because every time we come on social media, the internet, YouTube, there's all type of content from people who are hurt, people who are broken, probably people who are um, going through the healing process as well that can trigger us in various ways to the point um, may cripple or hinder our progress as far as with mental health progress our progress with our physical progress spiritual progress financial progress right and we get triggered by these people that don't know us we don't know them and that's something you have to check because the world is not this friendly place that we once have known um and so hence why we have to study ourselves we have to have that self-awareness and know what triggers us if you know something triggers you and you want to go lower as um homeboy said a lot of times it's not even worth going to hell because i have seen someone say if you go low i'm going to hell it's not worth that and a lot of times when people say that and they go into these petty moments they're actually having a cry for help they are having this negative connotation negative and negative is not going to make a positive right nine times out of ten is not worth confronting people I usually, because I know my triggers, confront people when it's necessary. So there are cer certain things I don't tolerate. There's no 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 non-negotiation. And so I have to weigh, do I need to confront this person, especially if I'm continuously getting violated? And if I told you a few times, then I have to remove myself from the situation. It's not being weak. It's not um lowering my standards because i think of myself in a in a highly place i'm very valuable i know my self-worth i know my self-esteem is high my confidence is high i'm not stupid now to anyone's um bad behavior or pettiness because what is what am i going to get out of it of being petty um i'm going to like i said confront you with my silence you know i know people say oh kill them with kindness but sometimes i kill people with my silence too um because a lot of people don't deserve my energy and don't deserve my words so my challenge is to you all is to really once again stop being petty stop going low because that is just only you're speaking from a place of hurt you speak it from a place of pain and hurt people as we always know hurt people get some healing in your life and i know we talk about therapy but a lot of times when we come from that pain, because it's unresolved trauma, it's unresolved, it's anger. You know, people are angry. You know, angry at different things that happen in their life. Um, angry because, let's say, someone hurts you and you refuse to let go of that pain that happened 10 years ago. That person done moved on with their life. You probably don't even talk to them anymore. That, that per person probably forgot the offense that they had caused you. So for you to be mentally well, and also too for you to navigate this thing called life, which is not easy, right? I need you all to really check yourself. Like I told my students before you wreck yourself, ask yourself, is it worth it? Yes, feel the feelings, feel the emotions, connect to your body. You know, how do you feel physically when you get upset, right? Um, but also, too, how do you feel when you're, you're joyful in a joyful place? And I think so many times people um, allow the anger and the disappointment to really spill into, like, the joy and the happiness. Hence why if something joyous happens to someone um, or somebody, you know, something ha happy, happiness happens to that person, they can't really enjoy it because they're so subdued by that negative emotion and like i said feel those negative emotions because you need to know what's going to trigger you you know if someone's yelling and screaming cussing at you triggers you yes you know have that conversation you know i don't appreciate and i don't accept that 
I don't even self-abuse and do that in my own life, so I'm not going to allow you to do that, right? So that's the spill for today. Um, I hope that you all check yourselves before you wreck yourself. Also, to tap into your emotions, really take this time out every day for five to ten minutes. Get to know yourself. Um, get to know what triggers you, what makes you happy, what makes you angry, what makes you sad, um, the disappointments, why you want to control other people when you can't even control yourself. You know, really get to know yourself at this stage in your life, um, in the development where you're at in your life, um, in the season that you're at in your life, and really just start making those changes of really just, you know, regulating your emotions. So that's it. That is the video. Much love and light to you guys. Peace.